Lee Christopher, a budding musician who loves to play piano and sing. This year, he made all-state chorus and earned straight A's. Those are big accomplishments for any teen, but for Christopher, they're even more impressive. That's because Christopher has autism. Off to New Manchester High School, it's a fine arts music education program. I have to, I'll be singing and dancing, and it'll be a lot of fun. I could be in plays, it will be lots of fun there. Christopher is flourishing and has a loving and supportive family. But when he was first diagnosed, his future looked uncertain and bleak. His mom, Stacy, says her son was in his own world. In the beginning, you feel like, what did I do? God, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? Is, is there something that I wasn't living right or something? What am I gonna do? Stacy and her husband, Mark, moved quickly to help two-year-old Christopher. He began working with Dr. Kobe Lunt, who specializes in Applied Behavior Analysis, or ABA. We taught him a lot in those first couple of years, so it's pretty amazing to see him now as a kid who just graduated from middle school, um, who is basically um, acquiring all the skills that we equipped him to acquire on his own. Dr. Lunt attributes Christopher's success to early and intensive intervention using ABA. He and his wife Janet founded Integrated Behavioral Solutions in 2000 and have helped many kids like Christopher learn how to interact with the world around them. The differences that you can make in developmental disabilities tend to be huge. When I found that there was a science that taught me how to change behavior, that just opens up a whole world. And so the idea of spending my time trying to improve the lives of someone else was um, amazingly gratifying. A team from Integrated Behavioral Solutions worked with Christopher through fourth grade, often spending 30 hours per week teaching him and his supportive family in his natural environment. We had a therapist pretty much everywhere we went, every day. If we went to the mall, if we went to McDonald's, wherever we went, we went to the zoo, we went to Imagine It, we took a therapist with us. Both the Lunds and Stacy urge parents of children with autism to investigate applied behavior analysis as soon as possible after diagnosis. That's one of the amazing things about working in autism. If you have early intervention, intensive intervention, then as many as a third of those children can end up indistinguishable from peers. I like to say thanks for all the their help they did to me. Parents seeking help are often confronted by an overwhelming array of options, many of which are unproven or even potentially harmful. The Lunds encourage parents of autistic children to consider evidence-based interventions such as ABA, which has a rich history of treatment effectiveness dating back to the 1960s. I think it's a commitment for anyone, but it's one that what research study after research study and parent after parent after parent will tell you it's um, an investment that's well worth your time because you just meet Christopher and you kind of say, yep, that's worth it. You know, if somebody said, trade, we'll trade you this normal, typical child and you, and I'll, it would, no, no, because I have something special that you don't have. I have, I have a, a miracle. I have a miracle. So I wouldn't have had the miracle without IBS. Bob Moore.